six letters in English, but we want to look at that one letter in Hebrew, the letter Lamed. It's kind of like an L. When it's added to the front of a personal pronoun, you, it's prefixed as a preposition, to you, for you. It can be a Lamed of advantage or a Lamed of a possession. Now, in particular, we want to look at the calling of the prophet Moses, where we see a sign for you, and on Mount Sinai, we see a God for you. Now, it's in Exodus chapter 3, where the second person of the Holy Trinity appears to Moses in the burning bush. This is the messenger of Yahweh, the Word of God, the one who is sent by the Father. This is the Son pre-incarnate. And he's speaking to Moses and says, I am the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, and I am with you, and I'm sending you. Well, of course, Moses is concerned. How does he know for certain and for sure? Well, Yahweh says this, that I am with you, and I give this sign for you. Well, what's the sign for Moses? It's the sign that when Moses brings the people of Israel out of Egypt to Mount Sinai, then he will know for certain and sure that Yahweh is the one who has done this for him, for them. For God is the one who comes to do things for us. He comes to save us. He comes to deliver out of slavery in Egypt, taking them out of the land of Egypt back into the promised land, that promise that he gave to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, where the Christ child would be born in Bethlehem for you, crucified in Jerusalem for you, and raised from the ground, victorious over the tomb for you. But it's at this point where Moses goes before Pharaoh, and it doesn't seem like God is with him because Pharaoh will not let the people of God go. And so in chapter 6 of Exodus, God reassures Moses and says, I, I am Yahweh. I will take you to be my people, and I will be a God for you. This is the kind of the God that we have, not a God that is against us, but the God that is for us, for you, for life, for salvation, for deliverance in slavery in Egypt. And you see this later on in Exodus chapter 20, when Moses does bring the people out of Egypt to Mount Sinai to serve Yahweh. And with the giving of the Ten Commandments, Yahweh says, I am Yahweh, your God, who has brought you out of the land of Egypt, brought you out of slavery. There shall be no other God for you. That's the first commandment. You need no other God. You have a God that is for you, a God who could, comes to deliver you and to give to you the promises that he promises to do for you. So he's with Moses and he is with Israel as they are in the time of this Mount Sinai appearance of God where he gives the gift of the Ten Commandments for you, for the people of God so that it bears testimony and witness that this is the God for you and not a different God. You shouldn't make another God for you. You need no other God. This God is for you, and he speaks to you with his word. Worship without his word is idolatry, but worship with his word has the promise and the assurance of God's presence for you. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.